Hey y'all, what's Gucci? It's your girl Desiree back in here with another video for y'all. So I'm um, uh I was sitting here thinking, you know, what video should I do? Um should I tell you guys a story time? Should I um you know update y'all on my life? And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a story time. So um here goes. Okay. So, as you guys can see by the title, <laughs> we gonna see we gonna see what happens with this video. Okay, so right now I am using um, salt water um, to for my ear because I'm having some issues. Okay, oops, I'm having some issues with my conch piercing and um yeah so y'all that's crazy because water squirted all the way over there on my on my closet door anyway so um yeah okay so when i was in high school um I was very petite um, and I was very small when I was 15 and guys took notice to me very, very quickly. Okay. Um, during that time, uh, I was um, real heavy into soccer and I was always, I was always working out. I was always, um, training for my games and um during that time I was in PE and I was in swimming and I was very 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 active very active all throughout high school I was very active so um and I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna do a story time too about my weight gain so look forward to that coming as well so during my uh freshman year of high school I was 15 years old and um I was not popular. I was um, just, it was me and my sister, but my sister left me and decided to go to do um, college classes during that time. They call it run and start. So whenever a high school kid wanted to get out of school early, as far as graduate, they will go do run and start. So um, there was, Uh, a couple people that I was, you know, kind of clinging to a little bit, but it was only girls, females. And um, a couple of girls that I knew and got close to, like super quick, they got pregnant. And I was just like, man, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go down that road. And I was like, um, I did not want to get pregnant at an early age. My mom and my stepdad, they were... Um, <laughs> they were very strict on me, okay? Very, very strict on my sister and I. So, okay. Um, during the time in high school, there was this one particular guy that was, as soon as he saw me, like, he just, his eyes were glued to me, okay? And um, I could never shake him. I could never get him off of me. I could never, like... Every no, every time he seen me, he was like, like like right on me, okay, and I was just like, um, <laughs> during that time, y'all, I was still a V, okay, and I was just like not having it, right? I was not having it. So, one of my best best friends came to me, and she was like, "Girl, you would not believe what happened to me," and I was like, "What happened?" And she's like. Um, I lost my V and, um, now I'm, ha I'm having a baby and I'm like, wow. And I, I asked her, I said, so did you tell your parents? And then after that, like, I don't remember exactly what happened, but her and I became best friends. And then, um, uh, she ended up leaving school for a while, you know, but she came back and everything was good that was still my homie and 
um, like years later, we was, you know, still cool or whatever. But anyways, okay. So I was not trying to uh, get pregnant. I was not because like I said, my mom and my stepdad, they were just like on me. Okay. Um, during that time, um, my, I had practice like almost every day after school. So probably about uh, three to four times a week after school. I would not get home sometimes until like seven o'clock in the evening. And um, I was just, I was very exhausted. Okay. Um, we, my practices were so hard that my coach, like she had us running up and downstairs, y'all. And I was just like, anyways, <laughs> anyway, you know, I kind of missed the fact that um, I was very athletic when I was in, when I was in high school. I, I missed that. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to call this guy, uh, Robbie, Robbie, as soon as he, like the first time he set eyes on me, y'all, it was a wrap. Like every time he saw me from then on, from then on, he would, he would always like hurry up and make sure that he knew that I knew he would always make sure that I knew that his eyes were set on me. Okay. And it got to the point to where, um, one day I was wearing a dress and I was like, not thinking that stuff would go the way that it did, but I had, this dress was very form fitting. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> and I had a, I had a really big sweater on over this dress and like, I'm standing at my locker, not really thinking about it, but I felt, I felt something going up the back of my leg. And as soon as I turned around, it was him. Big mistake, big mistake with that dress. So I was like, oh my God, this is really, it's really, really, really not cool right now. So, um, <laughs> he would see the thing about this is being 15 years old, you, it's like, you're not thinking, you're not thinking. Okay. Going back on it now and looking back on it now, it was like, I wasn't thinking. Okay. I wasn't, um, I was, uh, boy crazy at that time. <laughs> very boy crazy okay and i was just saying to myself like i got all this attention and this dude is really feeling me but the thing about this is um we were not in a relationship we were never in a relationship and he was always talking to me whispering things to me in my ear and it was like one day after my practice the school was still open and, uh, he was still there. I don't know why. I don't know if it was for me. I don't know if it was for other reasons, but when he saw me sitting at, in the cafeteria at a table, he was like, he just like ran, like shot to where I was sitting. And I was just like, Hey, <laughs> I'm trying to be nonchalant about this. Y'all I'm trying my best to, um, not, um, as far as I want to remember back, it's like I had to make sure that um, I wasn't so like trying my best to get him to want me in a in a, a sexual way. OK, so, of course, that didn't happen because he was all like I said, he was always whispering things in my ear and um, um, he was always saying like, I want you, girl, I want you. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> For the longest time, I kept telling him no. Um, <clears throat> because I just didn't, I wasn't trying to fall for his, for fall for him or fall, fall for him, fall into a trap that he had. I wasn't trying to get in trouble. I wasn't trying anything. So he was like, we're going to do it. I was like, no, we're not. He's like, yes, we are. And I was like, no, we're not. 
So he was asking me who I live with, where I live. He knew, he knew who I live with, but he did not know where I lived. So, um, it happened y'all. It happened. I lost my V card y'all. And the crazy thing about this is that as much as I want to sit here and tell y'all the scene, I'm really not going to go into all that, but actually you guys should know. <laughs> okay. He lived with his parents. Well, his mom and I live with my parents and my sister. Oh, uh, y'all, I, I lost my V card in a park. Okay. Smooth talker, y'all. He just, uh, smooth talker. That's all I'm going to say. Smooth talker. Um, we were protected too. That was, that was the, the good thing about that. Okay. Um, so he smooth talked me real good. <laughs> yes, he did. He smooth talked me. Um, I, I didn't know how to feel after that. So being 15 and losing your V card, it's like, for me, it was like, honestly, I did not know what to do. I didn't, I didn't know if I was gonna, um, I actually did not tell anybody. And the only person I told was my sister. Y'all, she told on me. <laughs> she told, she told my, I think she told my mom and my stepdad. Or I think she told my mom, but I'm not sure exactly who she told, but I got grounded for three months after that. I was mad at her, but I was like, you know what? It happened, you know? You can't take it back. <laughs> you cannot take that back. You cannot, uh, you can't change it. It happened. Anyway, so um the ending to this story, y'all, is the end of the school year came around and okay, so after that happened, I did not hear from him, I did not see him, and For about, it had to be about three months after that, I still hadn't seen him. And I still hadn't heard from him. And wondering, I, I was wondering what was going on with him. And, okay, so I was walking to, I was, this, is a, this was at school. I was walking into the office and his sister um, was in the office and her and I, it was like, I don't know if she knew me. I don't know who, I don't know if she knew who I was. I don't know if she knew what happened. I don't know if he told her. Um, so I'm walking, as I'm walking into, into the office, um, his sister is in tears. I knew that was his sister because he told me that's my sister right there. And I was like, okay. And they looked a lot alike. That's the only way I knew that that was his sister. And as I'm walking, um, I wasn't walking toward her like I was going to speak to her because we weren't even like, we didn't even associate with each other. But I was walking toward where she was standing because I was... um turning in the attendance and all of a sudden I hear out of her from her um my brother got killed a couple months ago and she looked at me she turned her head she like put her head up and she looked at me and I was like I didn't say anything to her 
and it was from that moment like I was like after that I did not see his sister anymore after that she didn't come running after me she didn't say anything to me um and for for these years y'all that's it's like it's it, it takes a piece of me it deals with me because that whole the whole time we were um getting to know each other that's how i would say it like I was starting to feel extremely close to him and he <laughs> he was always there like making me laugh and it took me y'all it just it spent me it spent me and for the longest time I was just I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't like know how to just even. I didn't know what to think anymore after that for a while. And. Because after that day. um, I had actually started to have feelings for him after that day. And. I was going to tell him. Anyways, y'all, this, that's a part of me that, that's how I started to become depressed. Um, giving my self to someone that, It just made me feel great, you know, and it wasn't the, it wasn't just losing my V to him. It was just him, period. But I wasn't trying to end this on a sad note, y'all, but that's how that went down. And I will never forget him. Never, ever. I will never forget him. So, um, if you fall in love with somebody... If you're really feeling for that person, you better tell them. Don't keep it to yourself. Because after that day, y'all, it was like, I like I said, I fell in love with him after that day. <laughs> so, I'm going to go, y'all, and make sure you guys subscribe and, um... Make sure you guys like this video and comment down below. And you guys have a good night and a good day.